Hello again, and welcome to another video. A while back, I was driving home and saw a vintage road bike set on the side of the road with a sign that said free, so of course I couldn't resist. The bike itself was in rough shape, but the bones were good. The bike appears to be a late model Raleigh Technium Trilite Prestige from 1988. These were mid-range options back in the day for the road bike scene, and performed well for casual use when new, but the frames are a combination of steel and aluminum bonded together. This made the frame of this bike somewhat unreliable, and most importantly, fairly unstable. This example of a Raleigh has some swapped parts on it. The front derailleur and crank is original, along with the rear derailleur, but I've replaced the rear wheel with a lighter, higher quality rim, tire, and 7-speed freewheel that I got from a garage sale. The front is the original Regita Score 700cc wheel set, which was the best stock wheel available for this frame, because this was a late model one. The bike features an old style top tube shifter, which are absolutely horrible to use, but easy to tune at least. The front brake is original, but the rear has been replaced with the Diacomp Royale Compe 2, I think I said that right, which does help with the poor braking this bike has. I've also swapped the, I think weren't original clipless pedals with a cheap set of aluminum flats. The saddle is a retro cool Futura model, which is incredibly uncomfortable and incredibly hot, and it's also missing the tightening bolt, so it kind of just flops around. This bike may be a little rough, but I've already invested a $1 wheel on it, so it's too late to turn back now. Let's restore this thing. First, let's go over the parts we're going to use. We need a new chain with master link, a replacement 700cc tube, and some bar wrap. For tools, I'm going to start with using my Crank Brothers multi-tool, some park tool tire levers, and some chain grease. I end up using some other tools along the way, but nothing too far off from these. Alright, let's get this old speedster on the stand. First thing I'm going to do is hook up that nice new chain by clicking two master links together. All you have to do is run the chain through the rear derailleur, up through the front cogs, and then clip it together. This is usually a pretty fiddly job for me, but I mess around until it finally clips in. Now we have to adjust the derailleur to fit the better freewheel I've installed. This is a simple task done by adjusting the three screws, the high, low, and rear adjustments. I usually try to line up the smaller gears with the gear I'm trying to match up on the freewheel, and then I shift through testing them out. Then comes the front derailleur, which uses the same high and low adjustment screws and the wire tightening setting on the shifter itself. Now this bike is shifting smoothly. This upgrade will make the road bike have much more range with the extra gears, which I'm really happy about. Now the garage sale find wheels rubbing against the frame. This is because it's pretty badly out of alignment, which is why the guy I bought it from was selling it, but we can fix this by using a park tool spoke wrench and tightening or loosening each spoke until the rubbing stops. Normally I do this on a chewing stand, but I felt for this bike I could just do it on the frame since there's so little clearance between the tire and the frame itself. Now we have to fix the tube that doesn't hold air. I used the tire irons to pry the old tire and tube off, but on the rim itself I discovered the previous owner didn't use rim tape, but instead used bright green duct tape. We'll be fixing that and installing the new tube. Next I prepped and installed the new handlebar wrap, which took so long to get the wrap pattern down I didn't even film it, it's boring anyways. I secured the seat with the new locking bolt from the local hardware store, and I also greased up the chain to make shifting even smoother. Now it's time to give this old machine a test ride. Here you can see the giant brand cork bar tape I used, which looks great on this retro bike and is pretty comfy too. I decided to take this bike around my local greenway, and the biggest thing I noticed was those old reports of this bike being unstable are very true. Even with the larger tire in the back to help absorb some of the bumps, better brakes, and the better freewheel, this thing was not stable feeling, and it was pretty uncomfortable too. And the weirdest thing was that even though I applied fresh grease and retightened the head tube and the handlebars, there definitely was still a weird metallic rattling noise that I have to figure out and fix. Nothing externally was moving, but there must be something wrong with the internals. But that's enough of the bad. What about the good? Well, I'm a mountain biker, and this bike is so light in comparison to what I'm used to riding, I can send this thing so much faster on pavement than other bikes I've ridden. The extra gears I added in the back also help a lot in the upper gear range as well. I found myself wanting to go much further and much faster than I usually do on these 
pavement-based rides. All in all, it's a very fun little machine. It still needs some work, but at least it's operable now. I may consider some mods in the future. Comment below what you think would work well for this old bike, or maybe that I should put the old rear wheel on and return it as close to stock as possible. Either way, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.